from the rising of the sun until it's going down. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Abosa.
to not lose your eyes if you don't lose your eyes as you worship the King of Glory. You know, today we are going to look at the God of our fathers. And Scripture makes us understand that He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Okay? So He was the one who was with Abraham and Noah and Isaac and all those people who did wonderful things in the past. He's the same God who is with us even now. So you want to lift your voice and give God glory in this place. Okay? Want to tell you that God, I bless you. God, I've heard so much about you. God, I want to give you glory in this place. You need to open your mouth and keep talking. Say, God, you don't know what you have to say. You can just tell me that God, I've heard so much about you. I've heard your favor. I've read so much about you. And I can only come to the agreement that indeed you are God all by yourself. You are great. There is nobody else but you. So God be the mountains high and God be the streets. God be the fish. God be the fish that swim and God be the bees. God be the best that fly. God be the best that fly and God be the bees. But the best. Yes. After the greatest 
the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus. Thank you. Clap for him. Now, we, have, we all want to be together for one vision so that we can all say it at the same time and we we'll all say it the same way. Hallelujah. Amen. For good news. Christ died for us. So we we'll move on. We we'll now read it directly so that we can all see it. Can you all see? Yes. Okay, so let's go. Acts chapter 3, verse 13a. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus. Can you all say that? Can go? Acts chapter 3, verse 13a. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified the Son Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, the God that we're talking about is the one who created the whole world, including you and I. He created the mountains, he created the stars, he created the animals. I want to give me an example of some of the things that God created. I want to give me an example of some of the things that God created. Yes. The oceans. The oceans. Clap your hand. Yes. Let's the mountains. The mountains, clap for him. <laughs> yes, another one. Human beings. Human beings like you and I, clap for her. And the last person. Yes, you. God created trees. God created the trees, clap for him. <laughs> now, God is the one who created all these things. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he created you and I. And do you know what amazing thing? God loves you and God loves me. Is that not wonderful? Yes. God loves us so much. What a wonderful love. God loves us so much. So the God of our fathers loves us so much. And this God has glorified his son, Jesus Christ. This Jesus is the only begotten son of God. The only begotten son of God. Jesus Christ is who? The only begotten Son of God. He's the only begotten Son of God. The Bible says that He came on this, into this world as a baby and He grew up. The Bible says that He was killed and crucified on the cross because of our sins. Sin is anything that we do, we say, or we think that does not please God. Things that we say, like insulting your friend, gossiping, all these things are sins, and these things displease God. Now, I want to give an example of the things that we do that also does not please God. Yes? Stealing! Stealing! Clap on him! Yes! Kicking somebody! When no one has done anything, and you kick the person. You have sinned. Yes, last person. Yes. Yes. Fighting. Fighting does not please God. Clap on him. Anything that you do that does not please God is sin. And Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It means you and I, we have all sinned. And we have therefore come short of the glory of God. But there is a good news. For this reason, God sent His only begotten Son to come and die for you and me. And the Bible said when He came, He never sinned. But yet, He was killed for our sin. The Bible said he was crucified on the cross and he died and they buried him and in three days time the Bible says that Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead and now the Bible says that anyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life how many of you want to have everlasting life? yes I also want to have everlasting life 
You understand? Now, if you are here and you don't have this son, Jesus Christ, in your heart, it means that you are not a son, you are not the child of God. So you need to believe, you need to believe in him and let Jesus Christ live in your heart, then you become a child of God. Romans, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, verse 12 says that as many as believed you, he gave them the power to become children of God. Before the day ends, our mother will lead us to receive Jesus Christ into our hearts. And now knowing that our, our, uh, our fathers had a God who glorified his son, you and I must also glorify God by being a good child at home, reading your Bible, praying, and living a life that is sinless to avoid sin. Amen. Now go straight to our Bible verse. We want to learn it, and I want to, I know you are good children and you are very smart, so we are all going to learn it together. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so can you read it first from the from the board? Now, if you are here and you have not received Jesus Christ, if 
you are here and you have not received Jesus Christ in your heart, this is the time to receive him into your heart. The one that God has glorified. So if you are here and you have not received Jesus Christ, I want you to close your eyes and lift up your right hand. So I will receive him. Now pray this prayer after me. Say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, I have sinned against you. But I believe in your son Jesus. That he came to die for my sins. And resurrected on the third day. I believe in Jesus. Jesus, come into my heart. And make me your son. In Jesus' name. Say a big amen. Then our last day, the third day, we'll talk about acting on his word. 
fall under the main theme. What's the main theme? We did in the wells of our fathers. Very good. So for today, our lesson for today, we are looking at the God of our fathers. And we know Father Abraham is our father, right? Yes. Or we don't know Abraham is our father. And we have Isaac also as our father, and then Jacob as our father. So we will study and know who is the God of these our fathers are. Okay? Who knows this Sunday school song? Um, you know the song I'm going to sing. Which song is it? Wow. Okay. So let's sing that song. We just sing briefly. Ready? Go. Almighty. 
But he even mentioned Abraham's name to Isaac. He said, I am the God of your father, Abraham. Isn't God wonderful? Yes. Okay. Then someone should also open the same Genesis 26, verse 23 to 24. Okay, book one. Please read it out for us. From David, he went to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared to him the same way. Multiply your descendants for sake, Abraham's sake. Amen. Amen. So God appeared to Isaac again from the verse 23 to verse 24. He said, Fear not. God said, Fear not, so I am with you. I will bless you and make you great. So, who is the God of our Father Isaac? Who can tell me? Yes, Amen. God Almighty. Who is the God of our Father Abraham? Yes, Kendra. God Almighty. Now, let's look at our third father. We are come to see who the God of Jacob is. Okay? Genesis 28, verse 10 to 15. Someone should please open it for me. Yes, praise. Genesis chapter 28, verse 10 to 15. Genesis chapter 28, verse 10 to 15. And this one, verse 10. Jacob left. Jacob left Bethshem and started to towards him. At sunset, he came to the holy place and camped there. He laid down to sleep, resting on resting his head on a stone. Verse 12. He dreamt that he saw a star was reaching from earth to heaven. Okay, hold on. The Bible is telling us Jacob was traveling and he got to a place, he was tired, he was getting late, and he took what? What did Jacob put his head on? Yes, and then he A stone! Have you ever slept on a stone? Have you ever put a head on a stone to sleep? No. No, we are fortunate. But our father Jacob, he was traveling the whole time, there was nothing, there was no pillow, no mattress, nothing. But he was tired. So he took what? A stone. He said, oh, let me sleep. Yeah, for tomorrow, then I'll continue my journey. So he slept, he put his head on the stone and he slept. And the Bible is saying he had a what? A dream. Please, please continue from there. He had a dream. He he dreamt that he saw a stairway reaching from heaven to earth with angels coming up and down on it. Verse 13. And there was the Lord standing beside him. I am the Lord, the God of Abraham and Isaac, he said. I will give to you and to your descendants this land on which you are laid. Verse 14. There, there will be as numerous as the specks of dust on earth. They will extend their territory in all directions, and and through you, your descendants, I will bless all nations. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit down. Now, when Abraham, when Jacob slept, the Bible says that he had a dream, and he saw a ladder. Ladder. The Bible says he saw how it reaching the heavens. And then he saw angels ascending and descending. And he saw the Lord on high. And he said, what, what did God say to Jacob when he saw him in the dream? Yes, the king. Yes. What? Yes, please. What did God say? I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. That is what I wanted to hear. Thank you. Please sit down. God said to Jacob that I am the Lord your God. So if somebody asks you, your father Jacob, who is his God? What will you say? What will you say? Yes. God Almighty. Because the Bible is telling us from this reading that the Lord appeared to Jacob in a dream. And he said it himself to him that I am the Lord your God. Let's clap for God. Let's clap for God. Okay. So right now, we've let the God of our fathers, the God of 
Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. That's their God. Their God is the God Almighty. And let's ask ourselves, how is the God of our fathers our God? Because those people, I don't know if any of you are exactly right. Are we not all Ghanaians? Are we all not Ghanaians? Yes, and these people, they are not Ghanaians. So Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. But we are saying they are our fathers. So how, how does their God also become our God? Because we are not even there when God was talking to them. Were we there? No. You and I were not there. So how come on ask you, how is the God of Abraham? How is he your God, Henry? How? How? Let's look at this. Say because of the cross. Say because of the cross. Because of the cross. Because of the cross. Because of the cross. God Jesus Christ came to die on the cross for you and I. You see? And then Jesus' is death. Jesus' death on the cross served as the bridge. We all know a bridge, right? Yes. Jesus' is death served as a bridge on which we crossed over from our sins to our Heavenly Father. You know the bridge. Sometimes a bridge covers a gutter. I think that if you can't cross it, you have to walk over the bridge. And we were, we were sinners, so we were not part of Israel, we were not part of the chosen generation, the chosen nation. But Jesus Christ came to die on the cross for us, and he, the cross became something like a bridge. Then we were able to cross over to God. Okay, please, someone should read 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. For Christ also suffered once for us, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Amen. God bless you. The Bible is saying that Christ suffered for us, the just for the unjust. Christ was the just, just like righteous, and we were the unjust. Christ took our unrighteousness and gave us his righteousness and took us to his Father, which is God. Okay, so through Jesus Christ and the cross, we are also the sons of God. God becomes our Father. Because the Bible is telling us that Christ came, he took our righteousness and he gave us righteousness and he took us to his Father. Someone should please read John chapter. 14 verse 5 to 6. Yes, of course. John chapter 14 verse 5 to 6. And read it out. Take your time. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Thank you. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. So we couldn't have gone to Jesus and God. God couldn't have been our Father, or God couldn't have been our God, if not for Jesus Christ. Because He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So it's only because of Jesus that God is our God. Okay? Please, let's give it up for Jesus. Close your eyes and pray. And ask God to reveal himself to you. Believe what you are saying. You know. Believe it. Pray. Ask God, God, please reveal yourself to Father Abraham, to Isaac and Jacob. Please reveal yourself to me. Amen. Amen. Now we are coming to have a declaration because we've learned from the lesson. So we have to declare this one. You are declaring it upon yourself. And declare it in faith. Okay? So put one hand on your chest. And raise your one hand up. It's like you are pledging, you are declaring it. Okay, when I say it, repeat after me. I declare that. I declare that. I shall follow. I shall follow the God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. To the very end. To the very end. I declare that. I declare that. I shall follow. I shall follow the God of our fathers. We thank you that you have ministered to us. We give you 
to your victorious family. We thank you so much, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, have we prayed. Amen. 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 Okay, it's time for a mystery story. Yeah. So let's invite Auntie Mercy. Thank you. 
and go and preach. So then he said, okay. Oh, how would that be feel? The money is very sad. Don't tread and don't go in. When we went there, he stood at the door. And we went to this bye-bye. And then this family started to cry. <laughs> My boy is leaving me. And then he said, oh, then let me go with you. So daddy followed on. On the way, the daddy started to cry. So we have to go back. Because I can't look at my boy leaving me like that. So daddy said, oh, bye-bye. And daddy also left door. John said that I'm not going to school again. I'm going to do what? John is going to do what? Going to work for God. So when you reach the country, there is a big mission out there. They went there. They went there, went there and say, What's a job? They say, Oh, do you know? There is a class that there's no teacher there. So I wanted to put you there. Okay, okay, I'll do it. So we don't go to the class. Then the headmaster called the boy, come on. Half of this class, the boys, they are very stubborn and rough. So they this cake. If they misbehave, give it to them. Don't say that. Big library with books 
money when the, the man is there. It's very sick. Then toss it. Do you know the money says five? Ah, we die on the first five. Man, I don't know. He is the one who dies for you. The covenant on the third day. He goes up again. Now he's in heaven. But you know, that you are very good. I said, that's all. Then pray for me. Pray for me. That's all. Then join the hands in prayer for me very soon. Within a few days, the man is well again. He hey! Then it means John God. He's a proper God. And the Bible too is really well of God. I said, John, come. Come to my house. Let's go to the library. I'm going to collect all my books. I'm going to pay it. Let's go. So don't follow the man to the house. He collects all the bad books. Then they do what they pay it. From that day, the man joined John. House to house, preaching the word of God. Because now, you know the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. So all the bad thing is threw it away. One day they on the way for then they made the drunker. Now you know drunker. Then this girl that say, then tell it to her, hey, hey, come here. I will, I will, I 
Gabriel. Ayo. Should I go back to the voice? Yeah. Yeah. Ayo. 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 Okay, I'm going to go back to the voice. Ayo. 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 Yes. I will. I will. I will make your descendants as many as the stars. Clap for him. That's another 50 marks. Yes. Another bonus to the girls. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Yes. I will multiply. She's close to the answer. 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 Yes, let us give to boys again. Yes, the boys. The boys. I know I will. Said. That's already been said. Yes. I will, I will bless you. I will bless you. Yes. I will bless you and your family and make you great. I will bless you and your family and make you great. I will multiply your descendants. Yes. That one also enters into the descendants. Yes. 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 Now the girls are up. Yes. Yes.
boys. To the boys. Yes! The Lord stood above the ladder and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of and the God of so we are completing this sentence. Dash death on the dash served as the dash on which we crossed over from dash to our dash. First dash. Dash death. Boys, boys, boys. Dash death. Yes? Not the cross. Yes. Jesus' death. Jesus' death. Yes, the boys. Jesus' death. So, Jesus' death on the girls. Girls. Jesus' death on the cross. cross. Jesus' death on the cross. That's correct. Jesus' death on the cross served as the boys. Served as the. Served as the. The bridge, the bridge, the bridge. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Set as the bridge on which we cross over from from yes. girls, from from sin. from sin. Oh, wonderful. From sin to our heavenly to our heavenly to our what? heavenly. Okay, so we have come to the end of today's program. Let's all bow down our heads and say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory and all the honor for this wonderful time with us. We are asking you that you take good care of us, Lord, and let your blessings come upon us. We thank you in the name of Jesus for answering prayer. Amen. 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 Amen.